Hi guys, welcome to Food and Living. And today you're watching a uh, sari over lehenga drape or a double side sari drape as it is known. It is very youthful, very uh, contemporary, and very stylish. And look, and all those who love to uh, experiment with the saris and looks, uh, it is very very apt. And I've also shown the makeup and the hairstyle uh, which I have done here. So to start with, I have um, worn the lehenga. Uh, over a top and here I have taken one part of the the pallu part and then pleated that and then left it over the shoulder and pinned it uh, you can adjust the length according to your wish I have taken it little longer now with the other end of the sari again we'll start pleating it just leave about uh, uh, you know we can say about 10 inches and then start pleating it or you can pleat the whole sari and then uh, tuck it in adjust it according to the length you want and tuck it in and then spread it a little adjust the length like I said uh, I have worn heels and then I'm wearing this but if you uh, have to remove your slippers or you know the temple visits etc then you can plan it and then uh, wear your slip slipper and then now we'll rotate this lehenga so that the pleats which we made on the other end will go uh, behind now you can make adjustments of the uh, pallu and the other end of the sari now we'll take like this and again make pleats uh, lengthwise uh, this sari has a nice border and to show the border that is the highlight here so um, we are going to make uh, the border shown and that is how the look of the sari and the lehenga is going to come out very very nicely the, this uh, draping you can style with a similar material uh, both lehenga and the sari of silk or uh, cotton etc but i think this uh, looked good too hairstyle i am i am uh, doing a french braid here for which i am taking the top section of the crown uh, hair of the crown and then just like we do our normal braid we'll start braiding it first we'll make a small uh, braid and then we'll start adding a small section of the hair each time from each side that is once from the left and once from the right and each time we take it we'll add it to the left if you are taking from the left then we'll add it to the left and right then we'll add it to the right and then continue plating just like we do with the three strands normal braids itself and then continue it till the end you can also try and uh, decorate uh, this kind of braid with uh, some hair accessories or some flowers etc but I am just choosing to use some natural rose um, and then leaving it as it is and then you can um, slightly pull the braid a, a little outwards like this so that uh, it gives a fuller look so this is how you can attain a fuller look you can also uh, wear a ribbon of your choice now uh, coming to the makeup I have uh, moisturized my skin and then now I'm applying a, con a foundation this is uh, Maybelline uh, all my products are Maybelline mostly and then this is a concealer I'm um, adding both of them or wearing both of them together and with the, with my fingertips I'm applying it you can also use a beauty wet beauty blender for this now I'm moisturizing my lips and uh, for this look I'm I am doing a contouring also this is a duo stick from Swiss Beauty it has highlighter and a contour so I'm using a contour stick like this and then contouring my nose my my forehead and um, chin and the cheek just to give it a, a a defined structure so this is how you apply it and then um, with the help of a wet beauty blender I'm just setting it do not forget to use the wet beauty blender always so that it is settling the products well and also it can spread so there is no wastage of the product as well so wherever we have applied the contour we will just uh, dab it and then allow it to settle well and then we will use a compressed powder or a loose powder to settle, set it I am using a brush to apply the powder you can also use the same or you can use the sponge which you get and then coming to the eye makeup now coming for the eyebrows I am filling my eyebrows the sparse areas you can also use the spoolie to get your um, eyebrows done 
and then fill it and for the eye eyeshadow i'm first using a concealer so that it it is sticking it to sticking to the eyes well eyelids well and from the nine lakme 9 to 5 palette i'm um applying a darker shade of bronze over the over the ends of my eye and then creating a crease like this and then i'm going for a pink shade from another palette this is a um, drugstore brand or a beauty store brand which is uh, very pigmented so i have chosen this and because my sari is also pink i am have chosen pink do not forget to use the eye shadow below your eyes also and then just to break the monotony all everything is pink so i'm just adding a little bit of gold just at the center and now i'm filling my eyes with the kajal both the waterline and the waterline above also and now i'm using the lash curler to curl my lashes and applying mascara this is again maybelline hyper curl the whole idea of this is to use whatever you have and not uh, you do not need uh, a lot of products etc you can buy one set each and then you can use it and create a lot of different looks and i have just uh, used a liner liquid liner to line my eyes as eye liner and then i have used a bronzer just to you know wherever we use the contour we are, i'm just bronzing a little bit and then finally the blush the pink i was using was very very uh, sober so i thought i'll uh, try this a, diff a little darker shade of pink so that was looking uh, nice so you can tr uh, try different types of blushes at times to give a different look a lift to your face just smile while you apply it and then now i'm applying the highlighter on the highest points of my cheekbones nose and the cupid's bow and the um eyebrow too so that way it can look nice in the photos also then you can wear the jewelry etc uh, of your choice something which you like to wear uh, because the sari and the blouse is heavy again i went for um, okay traditional jewels and now finally i have applied a bindi and then a lipstick this is color bar in the shade 013 so this is the color it gives so this is matte so i like it that way uh, now i've used i'm using the natural rose flower and uh, pinning it to my hair so that this look is complete you can wear bangles jewels etc of your choice i have uh, worn the temple antique style um, sari so this is how the look looks it is very very nice you can definitely try and if you do try please do not forget to tag me in my social media follow me on all my social media and do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel food and living and if you are liking these videos please do not forget to leave your comments and let me know that you are liking these videos a very happy sankranti to everyone